that we just left on our way to the lovely Crystal Isles Resort. Oh man, I'm glad this is a long runway to get on the interstate. We're gonna rate the Thousand Trails Peace River Resort. In alligators, exactly. Five out of five, five out of five alligators means stop the, stop the truck, turn around, we're going back. One out of five alligators means can't believe we wasted time there. Any, how many out of five alligators? <laughs> yes, they do. Five. Woo, stop the truck, turn around, we're going back. Annie, what did you like about Peace River? Oh, Leah. Oh, Leah. So not only does Peace River get five stars, or five alligators, oh, Leah also gets five alligators. Ashley, what do you give Peace River? Four, four out of five alligators. Michael, how many alligators? Five out of five alligators. That was a highlight of Peace River was how many friends we made and met there. All right, Caden, how many alligators out of five alligators? Five. Five out of five alligators. Laura, how many alligators out of five alligators? I'll probably say four and a half. P78 at Peace River? 87. Oh, P87. Yes, yeah, so so about half of the campground is it has sewer. About the other half doesn't have sewer. All of the spots down by the river and the spots that flood, as you can guess, are the ones without, without the sewer. And there's only two bathhouses in the whole campground. And each bathhouse had two showers and two toilets. We may need to get another retake, or get a retake of this. Also, there's a trail, a sandy trail that goes along the river. You can't see any campsites. It's just the trail and the river I through the woods. I to go down there. Oh awesome, awesome trail. We'll see you at Christmas.
part of that shrimp are you supposed to eat? Um, the good part, but I ate the, I ate the tail. You ate the tail? Yeah. How many tails? Uh, probably two or three. Two or three tails. How are the tails? Good. Kind of chewy? No. Kind of crunchy. Kind of crunchy. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a monumental occasion in here. Yeah. It's a little bit of a process, but I put together some chicken, veggie and cheese enchiladas. And they just came out of the oven. Yeah, you heard that right. In the RV. Today is a significant day. The first day of official boondocking, aka dry camping. We're at Cracker Barrel, which we don't have a sign for you, but there's the back of the Cracker Barrel. And today is day 180 of being in the trailer. So six months we've gone without doing this. Thank you, Thousand Trails. Perfect weather. We're gonna wake up and have breakfast at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel breakfast to say thank you to Cracker Barrel for letting us stay with them for the evening. And then we're headed to South Carolina. Today we're going to experience uh, Savannah. We're gonna go check out the historic sites. We're gonna go to a beach. So much to do, so little time. Turtle shells out of five. How many turtle shells out of five, Annie? Five. Five. Over there. Five, over and they're there. over there. A what? A big shell. Oh, a big shell. Gotcha. It was a great drive, had a little bit of rain, and we got to our campsite and it was still raining and it rained for about 30 minutes to an hour after we got here. So Carolina Landing is an absolutely gorgeous campground, but the campsites uh, leave much to be desired. <laughs> They're pretty small, pretty tight spaces. We found a loop at the end of the, uh, at the end of the campground, it's the F loop and about half of the loop has no power, which we didn't realize until we had been set up for about an hour or so. I thought something was wrong with our camper. Then I talked to a neighbor. He said that nothing past him had power. So we just decided to stay put because it took. It was hard to get level. It was raining when we set up. I drug a picnic table over here. We put a lot of effort into making this site comfortable. So second night, boondocking with no power, and everybody slept really well. We actually had a great night last night. We haven't had TV 
which has been great. There's two sites that are opening up today that I think are going to be better for us long term because we'll be here at Carolina Landing for three weeks. Overall, Carolina Landing, absolutely gorgeous, um, but if you're any longer than 35, 36 feet, probably not the best campground. A lot of hills, a lot of uneven roads, a lot of tight camping spaces, uh, but gorgeous. Where's the towel? Hey, you did it, Kaden. Hello, everybody. Hello. Today's Thursday. We got here on Monday. Caden and I just had a good time working, didn't we, bud? Yep. We went over to the center updating stuff for four clients, which is a lot done at once, which is awesome. Caden is coloring some things, some big pieces of paper. What two things you were? I was making a big American flag, and then I was making Annie a frozen door because she knocks on my door and she says, Elsa, <laughs> do you want to be a snowman? We're heading back for dinner, and the rice. menu is rice, veggies, four cloin. Yeah, What's it's going to be good. Let's let Annie do it one more time. Push your thumb. Ready? Good job. Okay, reel it in. Reel it in. Is it really good? Doing something. Good job. Does it? Does this float? Good job, Annie. There you go. Good job. She's looking for bass. I think we need more fishing poles. What do you think, Caden? Michael gets to go and get it, and that's no fair. Who's after him? Me. Oh, okay. Fishing is part of getting messy. <laughs> that's right. Out of here! Get out of here! I think he has a stomachache. Guess he wants to stay in there. <laughs> I guess I can't send a back scratch. <laughs> Just get out. Oh, there. There All you right, go. Throw it out there in the water. I told him if he wanted to go fishing with real worms, he needed to find a dozen of them. He found uh, 14. Yeah. Let's see you bait that hook, buddy. Probably ought to use a bigger worm. Okay, I'm bringing this fellow back in the thing. Good, good job. There you go. Tight, but it, but it kind of fits. There. Good. So we're about to sit down and eat a awesome meal made by me, Ashley. <laughs> and what do we have? She made beef stroganoff using ground turkey. Is what she made. Oh my goodness. Pretty good. Say dear God. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Yay. Good appetit. Happy appetit. Bon appetit. Good appetit. It's really cold in here too. Cold and wet. We're in the Sumter State Forest, National Forest. It says over here on the sign. And the Yellow Bridge Falls. Falls. So our timing seems to have worked well with being in South Carolina. It is absolutely gorgeous. What, like high 60s today? Yeah. It's supposed to be like 50 tomorrow, 52 or something like that. 57. 57. 
we heard that it had rained every weekend since January until last weekend, which was the first weekend we spent here. Today we got to a hundred points in our point system, and Michael got the most. I puked. And Annie is our RBI hitter right here. I puked. She did. She got the last point, getting to a hundred by using the potty like a big girl. How about that? He said he wants to go bowling, but there's a lot more exciting things to do here in the area. Wait, and everybody, I mini golf. There's everybody. Mini golf Oh, got to go go is going to get to participate because everybody got at least five go points. Go -karts. Maybe go karts. Maybe some haircuts. No. Uh, no. Point system has been pretty effective on keeping us all on track for getting school work done, getting chores done, keeping it clean in here, and stirring up a little competition. So it's been good. Mama's working on her points. Today is a hard day for the Gray family. Romeo has pretty quickly uh, digressed here in the last few days. Uh, I've made some, some phone calls and, and figured out a uh, very peaceful, easy way uh, for him to make this transition. Uh, the kids have said farewell. We have not sugarcoated this. We have let all the kids know, including Annie. All the other kids are pretty upset. and We spent a pretty good amount of time all together with him this morning, saying our farewells and lots of tears and praying and thanking God for dog that he's been an incredible frisbee player he's been and uh, he's he's 15 now he got him three years before we had Ashley so this is a very difficult time for Laura and I especially but all the kids are pretty attached to him but uh, I told Ashley this morning kind of pulled her aside and let her know what was happening so she had time to digest this and um, I took Michael with me up to a beautiful hill down a trail that's rarely traveled uh, at the campground we're at and it's kind of off the beaten path I don't even know it's, if it's part of the property of the campground but there's a meadow out over hill that overlooks the woods and the lake and uh, Michael and I helped uh, dig a place for him to to rest and when I get back we'll make him comfortable in there and uh, we'll have some toys and put in there with him and, and uh, I think we'll all get a rock to put around his, his grave just so we can all kind of leave our mark there with him but a sad time you know but I really believe that um, these pets and these these very uh, close family members are an excellent way to kind of teach how to, and you can't, you can't avoid the pain of death. You know, we're not created to experience this. It's, it's not, it's, we're not, we're not made for this. Uh, but it really can, with the pain that it causes, it really can gel. A family together it can gel individuals into a very tight group of people bound with their hearts to go through this pain all together and we all handle this differently we all have to have grace with each other to understand that but uh, uh, hard to know what to say but we love this we love this guy and, and um, 
love y'all. <laughs> That's why we're kind of including you all in this process with us. And if any of you have kids and you've gone through this or are going to go through this soon or at some point, I would just want to encourage you to not shield them from life. It'll bring you closer to your kids. You know, it's painful, it hurts, but don't miss that opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. Love y'all. Love you, buddy.